So this is a UI and just you know, okay. So I'll go with the first data center. The data center name is RDX DC. Under RDX, we'll create a cluster. New cluster, we can create the compute. So we are going with the single cluster. There won't be multiple cluster. Compute and either you can say compute and management or compute and management both are going to sit under the same so this is a lab we can perform it on checking this one since we are not going to be maintain any vlml which is a vSphere you know life cycle manager so we are not going to update and then finish okay now we need to add our host here so let's go with the host one then root and then it's password add another one use the same credentials click next select it okay next finish Let me close this one and see if we can stretch it here. Fine. Configure Uncheck this one. We are going to create distributor switch later on. Next. NTP optional, we can use that IP address which we have here. Copy this one. Paste here. Next. Finish. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to do the licensing part for both the vCenter as well as the ESXi host. For that, I'm pausing the video and once I'll add that one, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know the way. So here you need to just paste the license. Once you have pasted the license, just go to the assets select the vCenter select it and assign the license then that click click and next that's it since it's a uh, kind of confidential to me so i'm not going to you know reveal it once done i'll resume it since i'm done with the licensing now i would move forward and start creating vds so for vds we need to click here and click on the rdx data center click here distributed switch new distributed switch i am going to give a name rdx db switch that is fine i am going to use the latest one 8.0 the rest would be the port group if we need to define we can define later on either we can use it like if we want management management Port group. We can do it like PG. That's fine. Click next. Finish. So we have management port group here as well as. So what I'll do first, we'll look into that. What all things we required here? One is for the management.
and now the other port group we need we need for the trunk where we are putting the entire stuff on it means the entire vms now so this is going to be trunk port group pg for this one I'm assigning VLAN to VLAN trunking and the rest would be the default one. Finish. And let's create one more port group which would be your Remotion. So for vMotion, we have defined the VLAN, which is VLAN 20, VLAN 20, next finish. I think that is the sufficient we have. So now we need to migrate all the host. In our case, we have a two host. So we need to migrate those hosts towards here so they can use their facility VDS. They can use it instead of, you know, uh, standard switch. So click on the, uh, let me again go back there. So there's option add and manage host. Click on here, add manage host. And then select it, add host, and then select both. Okay, VM Nick uplink one and uplink two, we need to assign it. Next. This is the kernel port for the management. So we can assign it. We can assign this management one. right next finish so we have here and apart from this one let's quickly create the v motion group as well as so we need to go to the host we need to create one more VM kernel port, VM kernel adapter, click add networking, click next, select existing one, you can select it, select the existing and V motion. Okay, so this is the DVS, select V motion, click next. We need to assign the IP here, which is a in our case 192.168.20.111. It would be 255.255.255.0. Next, finish. So now we are performing the same step for host 2 VM kernel port, add networking, VM network adapter. Select the existing port, select this one. Next, select vMotion. Next, static IP address. 112 255 next finish perfect so now if i'm jumping to the vds and go to the configuration and topology we can see 20.11 we do have and we also have VM kernel for management as well as for the V motions. And one port is for trunk one. So we are almost done with the V center setup. And now the last point we need to go with the NSX and start building the NSX, which we'll cover in the next video. Thank you.